Aita Shalawam. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give her all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahawa Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rakako Dash. And I'd like to give her double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And uh, much blessing to you, brothers out there, laboring in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Now, uh, this is just going to be a lesson uh, on, uh, on the fact that the Heavenly Father has always spoken by way of the prophets, man. Okay. The Heavenly Father did not come and knock on your door and tell you of things to come. Okay. The Heavenly Father sent other men out there whom he, uh, other men out there who he anointed with prophets. And they would speak to the people on behalf of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay. Now, if you look up the word prophet, okay, uh, it says uh, prophet, and uh, the definition I'm looking for is just here at the bottom. It says pro before, and uh, uh, so like, yeah, hold on. it says a uh, pro before, uh, from P I L root P, uh, forward, hence, in front of before okay and uh the other part of the is a comp it's a it's a it's a it's a compound word and the other part of is a uh, uh it says a uh, plus root of fanai says to speak from pil root uh bha says to speak to say to speak to tell to say man okay the word means uh to speak before or to say before okay basically what a prophet is is somebody that tells you of things that would uh that would come beforehand man okay and the heavenly father had men that he would say you he would send out you, you he, he would send out there that would tell you of things to come before they would happen man okay uh this is uh first samuel 9 and 9 and it says before time in israel when a man went to inquire of the most high thus he spake come and let us go let us go to the seer for he that is now called called a prophet was before time it was before time called a seer so you would go to a particular man that was a prophet and he would he would he would he would, you would inquire of things pertaining to the heavenly father man of uh especially in the times of war in the ancient time you go before a prophet and you would ask you would inquire of a prophet and ask him whether you are gonna win that war or not okay um go to the next precept is uh, hebrews 1 and 1 says for the most high who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets okay so the heavenly father has always spoke has always spoke by way of the prophets men okay and every time uh, when the prophets would speak to the people men and they will, they will always say that saith that saith the lord god men okay that saith uh that saith yahweh power men okay because it was not the prophet's words that he was speaking it was the prophet himself it's like it wasn't the prophet's words that was speaking he was speaking the words of the heavenly father man okay it was the heavenly father man that was using that prophet uh that was using him uh as a vessel in order to speak to the people man and it's always been that way okay it's always been that way in the t in, in the past it's gonna be that way in this time period as well man because the heavenly father does not change all right brings me to my next scriptures malachi 3 and 6 it says for i am uh, for i am yahweh i change not therefore ye sons of jacob and are, are not consumed man okay so the heavenly father does not change okay the way he done things in the past is the same way he's gonna do things now because you know today today everybody thinks that uh that when the uh when a prophet is supposed to be this mystical man okay who's gonna walk on water and you know dress in a certain way and and uh you know all all, all different types of uh like you know like a, a cult of personality type of thing man okay but the heavenly father man you know he does everything in simplicity man he takes a man okay you know who looks like nothing and he sends him out there to go speak to the people man all right this is hebrews 13 and 8 like for example john the baptist okay he was a prophet and you said the the <clears throat> <clears throat> and you and you and you can read the description in in how the way uh john the baptist carried himself man okay the food that he ate he lived in the wilderness okay and the spirit of the lord was heavy upon him all right this is hebrews 13 and 8 
He says Yahweh Shai, Mashayak, the same yesterday and today and forever and for and forever, man. So the heavenly father does not change, man. He's always he's, he, he does he does certain things the same way and he's always gonna do them that same way. Okay. Uh let's close some of this. Alright, this is Jeremiah twenty eight and eight. It says the prophets that have been before before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Okay, so he was the prophet that prophesied against many countries, man. Says, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilences. So the Heavenly Father will send out uh, 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 his prophets to, uh, to go and, and, and speak concerning those different nations that were, that were, um, they were mighty at the time, man. And today you have uh, mighty nations. You have America, okay, you have Great Britain, you have France, uh, you have NATO and the EU nations, all right? And the heavenly father man has sent out his prophets to prophesy that to prophesy against them okay they didn't come and tell you that god loves you and uh if you give if you give them money and you're gonna get prosper you're gonna be uh you're gonna prosper in all, in everything that you do okay they said i remember that i guess the prophets the prophets that have been before before me and before they of old prophesied against many countries man so they would prophesy against the, the different uh the different countries and against great kingdoms man today um, you got america which is a great kingdom and you have prophets today doing the exact same thing prophesying against america being a great kingdom that it is man okay they're prophesying of america of war of martial law okay world war three okay a complete uh, a, 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 the complete destruction of america by way of nuclear weapon the microchip okay uh, uh, uh disease warfare okay uh many different things that are the prophets are prophesying against uh, uh america and uh this uh, Edo, uh this uh edomite uh, empire man that's on the earth right today man okay so the prophets when the prophets would come the prophets man would not prophesy they would not prophesy uh of uh of uh of, uh, of a good time man okay Every time the prophets would show up, man, the people would, would fear. Okay, the example is Samuel. When Samuel showed up, man, people would fear, man. All right. This Hosea 12 and 10 says, "I have spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the of, of the by the ministry of the prophets, man." So the the heavenly Father, man, multiplied the the the, the visions and simil uh, the the visions to these different uh, prophets, man. Okay, and uh, every different prophet had a different uh had a different lot or a different piece that they would prophesy man okay a lot of the times when they thought they were prophesying against uh at the, at the period the time period that they were in at that time but a lot of the prophets in the scriptures when they uh they pertain to uh they pertain to uh to the things that are going on to them man okay uh let so like if i'm going too quickly it just uh i want to make the video very short even though i've got a lot of precepts to go through man okay this is second peter's 1 and 20 he says knowing this first that no prophecy of the scriptures of is of any private interpretation okay for the prophecy came not came not in old time by the will of man but by a holy men of the most high spake as they were as they were moved by the holy spirit let me read that again say for the prophecy came not in old time but the will of man so all the scriptures that you read about that all these different prophets uh, wrote down they did not come uh by the will of those different prophets men okay it says but by holy men okay who were the prophets of the most high speck as they were moved by the holy spirit man so it was the holy spirit that were the, that were that was in these different prophets men that was making them speak or prophesy uh and the different visions that they were writing down man okay that's how the, the bible was put together man okay by the holy spirit man using these these different men that the heavenly father set up okay and it's always been that way man okay and then those men those ancient men that were there that put down this script uh that's this precept today they would come back today and they would do the exact same thing okay except today the the, the bible the book itself is 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 a uh, complete so today the heavenly father man gives us puts his spirit on us and gives us the understanding of the things that we wrote about in the past and today we're just reading and speaking it man okay we're not writing the we're not writing the the prophecies down the prophecies are already written we're just speaking it this time man all right it says that ecclesiastics 1 and 9 said the thing that has been it is that which shall be and that which is done it, sh 
and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun man so the prophets the, even the prophets themselves when they were they were if they were the, them coming back today they're gonna do the exact same thing that they did in the past man, which is prophesying man all right um let me get uh let's move on to the next precept this is uh, jeremiah 1 and 5 it says before i formed thee in the belly i knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb i sanctified thee and i would i ordained thee to i ordained thee a prophet unto the nations man so this is an example man of how the prophets are, are like to them and when you're born when you're born uh you know you grow up you go to school and everything you you don't you don't realize that at some point the heavenly father is gonna call you to do his work okay you don't really you you think you're just you're just a regular guy okay uh just following the steps that all men follow okay you you know you uh you you uh you go to school uh uh you go to work uh you get a wife and so on and so forth man but the certain men that the, that the heavenly father man has, has chosen for himself okay say amen the heavenly father man has said has sanctified and i then say you even even before they were born man say you are gonna be a prophet man okay so before i formed thee in the belly i knew this so that it shows you the heavenly father in the spirit world the heavenly father already know we're already in the spirit in the spirit world the only the heavenly father already knows us man okay he's already ordained us so, and before thou camest out thou camest forth out of the womb i sanctified thee and i ordained thee a prophet unto the nation so you can't make yourself a prophet you is your is either you are a prophet already or you're not a prophet already man okay and i'm um, and, and i ordain thee a prophet unto the nations man okay so and then uh let's go to uh amos 3 and 7 says surely the lord power will do nothing but he, he revealeth his secrets unto his servants the prophets man and this is why today uh uh having the 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 hardest book the hardest book ever the hardest the hardest the hardest book to and to be understood the spiritual book the uh the bible this is why today a lot of people cannot get the understanding of the scriptures because only certain men have been have been chosen to to, to get the understanding of the scriptures man okay that's why sometimes it's like regardless because the bible in itself is a secret book regardless how how regardless how number is a number one selling book in the planet f okay how f is in pretty much majority of homes or christian homes out there is still the hardest understood book in the planet f because the heavenly father man only re reveals the secrets of that book to his prophets man okay and this is why some some men you, you can go for hours and hours so i break down something they don't get it whereas other where uh, whereas other men effortlessly effortlessly you can you know you can go through the precepts and uh through the breakdowns and they get it man okay because the lord reveals his secrets onto his prophets man okay so that's how that's another another uh, uh another sign of who the pro uh, uh of being a prophet man when you start to understand uh the correct way when you start to get the understanding of the scriptures man because the heavenly father is revealing that to you all right and the prophets that were before they're gonna come back today and stand in their allotment in their position they're gonna stand uh they're gonna be prophets again today okay like i read in uh, ecclesiastics 1 and 9 the prophets are gonna come back and do the exact same thing that they did in the past man okay i'll give you an example of uh daniel uh the prophet daniel and uh uh and uh 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 uh, John on the island of Patmos, man. This is Daniel 12 and 13. It says, But go thy way to the end be, okay? For thou shalt rest, okay? What does that mean? Thou shalt rest, you're gonna die, okay? And stand and stand in thy lot at the end of days, man. You cannot explain this scripture again. My last video, I, explain, I, I, I brought up a, a couple of precepts about. Uh, how yeah how shall i said to some of the men said they shall not test death they shall not test death until they see the, the coming of the son of man this is another precept that you cannot explain without explaining reincarnation man okay so by god that way to till the end be okay daniel is not here today man okay there's no man that 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 was there say i'm the one that wrote the book of daniels so, but thou shall rest meaning that you're gonna die 
and stand in thy lot at the end of days we are in the end of days right now so the prophet daniel is here to them and he's under a different name okay you know he's lived a different life but today he's, he's come back and he's, he's most definitely in the truth and he's prophesying to them and okay he says and thou shalt stand in the lot at the end of days man so the uh, the prophet daniel is here today and he's doing the same thing that he did in the ancient time and prophesying all right this is revelation 10 and 10 he says and i took a little book out of the angel's hand the little book is the bible and i ate it up okay meaning what man he he, he got the understanding man okay metaphor for i got the, and he, he got the understanding of the bible and it was in my mouth sweet as honey because sometimes when you when you when you get the mysteries of the bible and all that I mean it's beautiful man okay but it comes with uh it says and as soon as i ate as soon as i had eaten it it was in, in, it as soon as it's like it's, and as soon as i had eaten it my belly was bitter man because as much as you're getting all this all this knowledge and understanding man you know you're going through a uh, tribulation man okay in the world man okay it becomes you know it, it becomes like a uh uh you know it's, it, it, the lord balanced it out okay you know you, you we got all these beautiful mysteries and everything but the lord put us in a situation whereby we are being we've been chastised man okay he says and he said unto me thou thou must prophesy thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings there is no record of john from the, who living from the island of patmos and prophesying again man okay it says and thou must prophesy again before many people and nations and tongues and kings there's no record of john john leaving the island of uh, patmos going to uh, going to prophesy man okay all that means is again reincarnation man. john 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 would come back again would come back again in this time period man and he would do the exact same thing that he did in the past man he'll be a prophet again okay so the prophets are here today and the prophets are prophesying again today against his great kingdoms man and that's how the lord has always done it and this is how the lord is gonna always is uh is always gonna do it uh, uh is always gonna uh do it man okay that's how the lord is always gonna uh, speak to the people by way of the prophets okay and uh, I hope that was edifying. I know I was going through the precepts real quick, but I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to uh, make my videos as short as possible, so they're not too long. You know, just uh, to encourage people to uh, more brothers to watch my videos, man. Okay. Until next time, I say shalom.